Hey y'all. It's Saturday morning. 11.14 in the morning. I look a mess. Uh, I have on my painting clothes because I am going to paint that wall today. I woke up probably around, I don't know, 7. I FaceTime Harp, talked to her in space for a while. And um, I didn't have to go to my parents' house to watch Harp because Bentley is not there. So he didn't do tutoring this week. Um because my cousin, his dad, um, is at the hospital with his girlfriend who is in labor. So um, I have been semi-productive today so far. I came downstairs around 9 and what did I do? I put a load of clothes in the wash machine. So I need to go put them in the dryer and then put my last load in the wash. I came upstairs and cleaned the kitchen, unloaded the dishwasher, loaded it, and cleaned the kitchen. I went to the post office to figure out why my lock hasn't been changed because I still can't get my mail. It's been over a month. Um, and the post office lady got very rude with me, but I'm not gonna let it ruin my day, whatever. They said it should be done today, hopefully. So we'll see. And I should be able to get my mail out. Um, I went to Target again, I was telling you guys, um, two days ago on Thursday and Got so much stuff from the dollar spot again. There's one more thing that I would like to purchase, but I, I just haven't seen it yet. So I don't know that I'm going to find it. Um, but that's all the stuff. Oh, hold on. Let me turn the camera around. That's all the stuff over there in those bags. I still haven't unrolled that rug. Um, and then I'm going to paint in a second as well. I'm just trying to catch my breath right now. And later on today, I'm going to record that Target dollar spot haul for you guys. And then I need to go to Home Depot to get the boards cut for the backdrop that I'm trying to make for my brother's shower. And I have the spray paint, so I need to spray paint them green. I ordered the um, boxwood panels yesterday, so they should come. Move, lady. Next week. Um... And then I can attach those. And then I got all of the floral vines and stuff from Michael's yesterday. Because they had 40% off with an additional 20 So that's what's on my list for today. I'm going to take it a little easy. I need to throw some boxes and stuff in the trash. Probably unpack a few more things. And then that'll be it. I'll see what Stacy and my cousin Courtney are doing a little later on tonight but other than that that's about it i just need a day of like resting and i have not chilled on the couch watched tv and just rested in so long even before i was at my parents house it's been so long so it actually feels really really good to do this but in my mind i'm like i have so much to do and i really really want to get that wall painted today both coats because it was supposed to be done on like wednesday i think tuesday or something and i just never did it so I need to get that done so I can finish filming that video so that I can edit it and get that up for you guys. I'm going to try to have that up. I don't know which one will be first, either the Target dollar spot haul or because that's easier. I don't have to edit as much or this um, accent wall in the kitchen. But I'm going to try to have all the footage done for the accent wall by today, tonight. So that I can decide which one I'm going to put up for you guys first. But by the time you see this video, hopefully both of them will already be live. I'm not sure. Move, lady. Um. So, yeah, I'll come back and I'll show you guys the progress of the wall once I start doing it. I have a clip in my hair. That's why it's up high like this. Um. Once I start making some progress. But, again, I'm going to put a different load of clothes in the wash machine. Um. And, yeah. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, y'all. It's Sunday morning. Um, I just finished filming the Target dollar spot haul for you guys, and that's live now. But I came downstairs. I did two coats on the wall yesterday, the accent wall in the kitchen. So I want to show you guys that. I'm going to take the tape down and start assembling everything. Um, so I wanted to show you guys the progress of the wall. Um, the counter is looking a little better. I've gotten 
a lot more junk off of it and the tv's going i was watching some tv so let me turn the camera around and show you guys the wall Okay guys, so guess what just happened? The mailman knocked on my door and gave me a new key for my mailbox. So I was able to get all my mail. Oh my goodness, look at this whole stack of mail. Mind you, I've been here for a month now. So I gotta go through all of this stuff, but one of the things I wanted to show you guys was the cake topper for my brother's wedding came. So I wanted to open that and show you guys that. So just one second. Okay guys, so here it is. I've ordered it from um, Glitter Design Co. on Etsy. This is their Facebook and their Instagram. It was $8.50 with $4.50 shipping. And this is what it looks like. It's an old baby. And it's so pretty. And it's just a cake topper. You stick it down in the cake. It's the gold glitter. I don't know if it came in other colors, but gold is what we needed. And I just really like the font. So I thought it was worth it. It's really, really pretty. So that'll be the cake topper for the baby shower. So I'm going to go through the rest of this meal. Um, and then I'll see you guys probably at Home Depot. Because I'm going to go get the boards cut for the backdrop today. Alright, bye. Y'all yeah, see where I'm headed into? My favorite store. Courtney and Marley with me. We got to get the boards and the hinges for this backdrop. I already have the spray paint. So that's going to be phase one for today. So we're headed in there now. I'll see you guys a little later. I'm cutting the board, guys. Um, 40 by 80. Yeah. 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 Monday, April 9th, it's 4.43, I left work at 4.30, because I got to work at 8 a.m. today, go me, um, which is surprising because I didn't go to bed till after midnight, but I just, I'm getting back into the habit of not liking getting off work so late, um, so I'm just like sacrificing in the morning, even though sometimes I'm tired, um, I'll just still take my shower and try to get out of the house early so I can get to work early so I can get off early I feel like I'm more productive when I get off when it's still light outside so we'll see um but how was everybody's weekend my weekend was good I actually stayed in the house all day on Saturday with the exception of going to the post office for about 10 minutes they finally changed my post office lock on Sunday so I got my key I was able to get my mail um I showed you guys that in another clip um I finished my accent wall in my kitchen. I painted it and then decorated it. Um, so that video is probably up by now. You guys have seen it, but I love the way that it looks and everybody else loves it. I've had a few visitors since I finished it and they really, really love it. Um, so I'm excited about that. I found my wall stencil so I can do the accent wall in my dining room and my first lower stairwell. I think I'm gonna hold off on the stairwell makeover video just because 
eventually when I repurchase new furniture for the upstairs living room they're gonna have to bring that furniture up that stairwell and then they're gonna have to bring the current furniture down that stairwell to put it in the basement and because I plan to put mirrored frames and like um, just other stuff on that wall that is delicate and can break I don't want to have to take it all down for them to do that but the problem or the dilemma is I don't know how soon I'm going to be getting that furniture so I don't know how long I'll be holding off um, but right now I'm just going to do other stairwells and the other stairwell and do the accent wall in the dining room so that I can at least hang my wall mirror and my mirrored sconces because the mirrored sconces are still on wrapped up in bubble wrap on my uh, kitchen counter by the uh, cookie jars and that's taking up ample real estate space on the counter um, and then the mirror is off in a corner in the living room upstairs wrapped up in one of like the moving blankets so I would like to get that off the floor and hung on the wall but I didn't want to hang all that stuff and then have to take it down because I wanted to paint that wall and then stencil it so I'll probably do since I have all the materials and everything I need um, to do that wall I'll probably do that wall um, sometime this month and um, I, I know I did a stencil video when I did my dining room at the other house but I was just getting into like filming for YouTube and stuff so it wasn't really detailed I may try to record this one since this is a smaller space and it'll be on a smaller scale I may try to record this one for you guys um, and just give you a little bit more detail take you step by step um, because I'm a little better at capturing all that stuff now so let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that it'll be the same pattern um, because I love that pattern I'm gonna use the same stencil but maybe just more in-depth in tutorial um, and then the materials I used as well like first the types of um, rollers I'm using because there are tons of different rollers you can use or you can use a stencil, stencil brush and stuff like that the type of paint I'm using I know I got tons and tons of questions about what type of um, stencil paint I used or paint I used to stencil um, and I am planning to use the same gray wall paint that I painted the basement and that I painted the accent wall in the kitchen as my base color and then I have metallic silver paint that I usually stencil over that with that I really really like I get it from Michaels so I found that as well this weekend so I have everything that I need to do that I just need somebody to help me move that table out of the way and move that mirrored buffet out of the way so that I can actually access that wall um, but yeah I'm excited about getting that done so the place is coming along slowly but surely um, this weekend what did I do besides my DIY project I went crazy in like four targets with my mom I posted two videos this weekend the first one was a Target dollar spot haul where I just got a little of each of the collections that they have they have the baby shower bridal shower and gender reveal collections out now um, and they usually do this every year. I, I know they've done it for the past two or three years So I hauled the stuff that I got and then my mom saw that stuff and loved it It wasn't for my brother's shower or anything and it wasn't for the bridal shower that I'm going to in New Jersey or anything It was just to have to keep for you know upcoming events or something And when my mom saw the bri bridal shower stuff, she was just like, oh, we could use this stuff for your brother's shower and then I won't have to you know cut the games and stuff like that because she ordered a PDF uh, file from Etsy but she would have had to print all the games and then cut them and so she liked the, the baby shower um, collection at the Target dollar spot so we went to four targets and we purchased the entire bridal shower two baby shower collections and the gender reveal collection as well so one of the baby shower collections we're going to use at my brother's shower and the stuff is just really really cute I mean we went crazy like so then I came home and I uploaded a second target dollar spot haul for you guys round two and yeah that's how we get all of our party planning stuff that's how we get all of our serveware all of that stuff we, we just get it from the target dollar spot a lot of times or we get it from other stores on clearance and then we just store it until we need it so we've got chafing dishes that way we've got uh, serving platters serving utensils uh, baby shower and 
bridal shower decorations and now gender reveal stuff because that's very popular so you just never know when you're going to need it and when you're going to be asked to put something together um, and it's best to get it on a super super discount or already low price than to have to be in a situation where you have to pay top dollar for it because you need it right then and it's not out during this time because target dollar spot only comes out with that stuff um during spring and summer so you know if it's fall or winter or anything like that or late summer you would have to purchase it from elsewhere from party stores and stuff and that stuff comes at a premium and in my opinion it's just not as cute as the target dollar spot their stuff is like really really cute like their designers like are on point that stuff is really cute to be one in three dollars or five dollars or whatever like it's really cute so i couldn't decide on things and i just got it all like i got it all just to have just in case you never know who's gonna have a baby next or who's gonna get married next or you know who knows so i like to just keep all that stuff on hand and that kind of stuff gets me excited it's so pretty and um it can be used with a lot of different themes and stuff so yeah um, that's what I did yesterday, all yesterday. My mom cooked dinner before she came to my place and we went out to all the Targets. So once we were finished doing all of our shopping, we stopped at her house so that I could eat some of her dinner. <laughs> Cause my mom made smothered pork chops and that's like my favorite meal. Um, so we stopped at her house so that I could eat dinner and then she dropped me back off and dropped off all of the new items that I hadn't hauled in the first video so that I could show you guys. So now I'm going, I bagged everything up after i posted the video that we were going to use for my brother's shower so i need to take that back to her house because i think we're going to store everything at her house because she has the most storage space plus because i'm going to new jersey the friday the day before my brother's shower and then driving straight from there to my brother's shower my parents are going to have to transport all the stuff we need so i'm going to just take everything over there so i've been pulling out stuff on my kitchen counter um the island in my kitchen i've been pulling out all the carafts we need for the mimosa bar all of the cake stands i still have to go through my buffet to get some of the platters and the cake stands and everything that we need and eventually take all that stuff to my mom's house i did go to my cousin and i went to home depot we got the boards i showed you guys that in the previous clip that we were walking into home depot so my mom met us there with my parents truck and we were able to transport the boards back to my house so they're in my garage i was supposed to spray paint them yesterday but i was so tired and then my mom wanted to go to target and we went to a lot of them so there was no rush i have two weeks um i don't know that i'll spray paint them tonight but sometime this week i'll do it and i think i only need one coat because i just want to spray paint them the hunter green color um just so that if there is any transparency with the greenery mats being stapled to them you won't be able to see the wood color shine through so i brought like a hunter green spray paint so one coat should be enough on each of the boards but the backdrop should stand pretty tall because it's 80 inches tall um and then 80 inches wide once you put both of them together but i'm assembling them so that they'll fold in half for easy transport so i found a tutorial online and i'll link it below in the video that i do i'm gonna do a diy video showing you guys how to make it and then i'm also going to take you along the shower because i know you guys said you wanted to see it so that's no problem what else did i do this weekend stacy and harp came over on saturday we ordered food and just chatted um just chatted about life and stuff harper played around for a while it was good to see her i hadn't seen her all week um and then that's it i did laundry so i was productive and i finished my accent wall in the kitchen i recorded that video i've edited 75 percent of it i still need to edit a little bit of it but by the time you see this vlog it would have already been posted so if you haven't seen it go check it out um i think it came out really really nice and i use clearance um wall decor to achieve the look so it wasn't an expensive diy at all so but i just like the way that that whole area looks especially because i still have my spring decor on my table setting so it just looks really really nice um what else did i do that's about all i did this weekend i will say that this is the first weekend saturday was the first day that i actually stayed in the house all day with the exception of the 15 minutes i went to, to the post office to see what was going on with my key 
um, and it felt really, really good. It was relaxing for me to be snuggled up on my couch in a blanket, watching TV, you know, not having to rush to get ready to go somewhere or not. Like, I just chilled and it was good. And I enjoy having company over and stuff, but me just being able to be in the house and chill was more than, you know, I could have asked for. So I actually really, really like that. In the exception of going to Home Depot, because I did go to Home Depot, but that was on Sunday, not on Saturday. Um, so, like I said, this week I'm probably going to spray paint the boards. That's on my agenda. Spray paint the name sign. And then this weekend, I'm going to assemble the boards with hinges. I brought the hinges. And then I'm going to, the greenery mats are supposed to be delivered. Um between the 10th and the 13th so some at some point this week they're going to be delivered and I'm going to staple those down and then you know go ahead and put on all of the flower um, vines and stuff that I purchased from Michaels and then that project will be done um, and that's like the biggest project that I'm working on right now for the shower so that's good I do have to embellish a few banners um, with some floral stuff but that's just so simple I can do that in one night with a hot glue gun which I have to find I believe it's in a box in my bedroom but other than that I think that's all I have to do shower wise this weekend so I'm glad that I'm pacing myself so that it's not the week of and I'm stuck trying to rush because I perform better when I'm not rushing even though I perform pretty well when I'm rushing as well because once I have a vision it's easy for me to follow through with it it's just I have to start it like when I'm tired and stuff it takes a long time for me to convince myself to get up and start but this is my first backdrop um, like this the uh, garden or floral one so I'm excited to do it but I'm more excited to see how it's going to turn out and um, so I don't think it'll be a problem to motivate myself to, to start it and get it actually assembled and get done. Um, plus, I want to send Tia pictures of it to see how she likes it and see if she wants to, anything changed on it um, well before the Thursday before the shower. Because if I leave Friday for the shower, Friday morning, I got to drop everything. The last thing has to be dropped off at my parents' house by Thursday night. Like, there's no... Um, way around that so if that's the case then I need to be asked I need to assemble it send her pics and get her feedback prior to that because yeah so but she's pretty easy going with the decor and stuff on the shower so I'm pretty sure she'll be fine with it or whatever she'll be fine with what I'm fine with because I'm the perfectionist and I'm the one who has the vision for this actual backdrop it was my idea um, the other option was for me to make paper flowers again and I did a video on that when I did the bohemian um backdrop for my friend Brittany shower which I have a video on but that just takes so long the making those paper flowers by hand takes so long they're beautiful but making them by hand is like no joke and I really 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 did not want to do that so I went ahead and purchased all of the floral they're um flowers but they're on like a vine is it a vine a uh, it's like a flower garland basically from Michaels and I must have purchased like 14 or 15 of them so hopefully that's enough but I got them in different colors so all the colors should be really pretty we'll see hopefully it's enough they were having 40% off all of their florals and then I this past weekend they had an additional 20% off the sale price so I like to buy um, large quantities of stuff from Michaels when I have large purchases I like to buy them on those weekends when they run that special and I think they only run it like once every four weeks or maybe once every six weeks I don't know but my mom and I took advantage of that I was supposed to have a baby shower to go to on Sunday my cousin Bentley's dad um his daughter was supposed to be well no his baby shower was supposed to be on Sunday for his daughter that he's expecting. But his girlfriend went into labor on Friday, so they canceled the or Saturday. So they canceled the shower on Sunday. And she still hasn't had the baby yet. She's been in the hospital since 
I think Friday or Saturday or something and they didn't induce her so I don't know what's going on with that but the shower got canceled so that's how I was able to go out with my mom on Sunday and go to Home Depot on Sunday so yeah I don't know if they're gonna reschedule the shower because it was it was off and then it was on and then it was back off again so there's a lot of confusion this weekend with the shower I don't know if they're gonna reschedule one or just have something at someone's house or what um after you know the baby is born and comes home or what they're gonna do um but I didn't end up going to the shower like I had planned because she was in the hospital so yeah um what else I am going to cook dinner tonight that's my plan my refrigerator looks so trifling y'all it doesn't look trifling it just looks like nobody lives there like literally I have juice milk all the condiments on the <laughs> on the door and then like eggs and stuff like the refrigerator side is so empty because I don't cook like and I just cleaned out tomorrow is trash day so I just cleaned out all of my takeout containers like left from leftovers but my freezer side of my refrigerator is jam-packed I have stuff in there I just rarely cook so today I'm gonna cook I have a taste I had a taste for I don't know if you guys eat this but hamburger helper I really love hamburger helper y'all y'all can talk about me if you want I don't care but um some of them are really really good I make them with ground turkey instead of ground beef but I really like some of them so I brought one for the box a couple weeks ago and I had some ground turkey so I thawed that out so I'm going to make that tonight and I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a cooking video but I don't know if that counts as cooking like hamburger helper that's super easy so I'm not going to record me cooking that but I'll probably show you guys once it's done or something like that but I'm gonna have to find a good like serious recipe so you guys will take me seriously if I ever do a cook with me video but I don't cook that often like I don't know what my issue is I don't know I've been buying DiGiorno pizzas I had a hot pocket this weekend for the first time in years my mom gave me some hot pockets. She brought some hot pockets over when we first when I first moved in when I went grocery shopping at her house. So I ate one of those um over the weekend. And I have yeah, I have food. I have fish, I have chicken, I have I had a lot of stuff in my I have a lot of stuff in my freezer. I just I don't know. So I'm gonna cook tonight probably. And um I don't know what else I'm gonna do tonight probably just chill out I don't know I didn't unroll the rug it's still upstairs but looking at it up against the dining room rug which is staying obviously the white that's in the dining room rug is not like a stark white so I think the white that's in the new rug from Christmas tree shops will be fine in that living room since the living room opens to the dining room i think it'll be fine it is an off-white or a cream white but it's a very very light cream white or off-white so at first glance it looks white and my walls aren't stark white either so i think it'll be fine now my trim and my crown molding is stark white but that's fine i really think it's going to be fine and because i only paid 70 bucks for that 7 by 10 rug which is huge it's the same size as the rug in the dining room and the same size as the current rug that's in the living room now i only paid 70 bucks for it brand new when i paid like 125 130 for the other two rugs the same size and it's the same it looks like the same quality and everything so i really didn't want to return it i think i'm going to like it and it's a more geometric pattern so that'll bring a little bit of contrast i think it's going to look i think it'll look nice i really do think it'll look nice so i'm going to keep it um and again in that room i'm going to accent with the blue the sapphire blue kind of navyish blue color so i'm going to get some solid curtains i think i don't think i want pattern curtains but I'll probably do what I did in the dining room of my old house and order a bunch of different curtains in the same colors some of them solid some of them pattern and see which one I like best with the rug already on the floor because I didn't think I was going to like the pattern rug that's there now when it was in my family room I didn't think I was going to like that with patterned curtains and the patterns were two different curtains but I loved it and because of the color of the pattern curtains it was that same like burnt yellowish burnt goldish color was in that target rug that's 
that's down there now and that was you know in the family room at the old house it matched perfectly and because i could find the matching throw pillows to the curtains i got that stuff from kohl's I, it just all tied in together and i loved it i never would have put a pattern rug with a pattern curtain I, I would have thought the patterns were to clash, but they didn't. They complimented each other, and so many people just loved it. Whenever they came over, they complimented that room. So I'm not going to say that I'm not going to put a pattern curtain up in that room when I get the new furniture, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I really do like the rug, and I'm okay that the rug is light gray and that really light white or really light cream because, again, I'll primarily be in the basement room with my company and everything so it's not going to get a lot of traffic that rug is not going to get a lot of traffic at least that's my plan it shouldn't because i'm going to put a tv down in the basement and i'm going to move the stuff that's upstairs in the living room that furniture the rug everything all the decor is coming down and different stuff is going upstairs so there really shouldn't be a reason why that rug gets dirty just like there shouldn't be a reason that my dining room rug gets dirty because no one really eats at the dining room table we eat at the either the island or the eating kitchen area so I'm really excited about getting that room together I don't know when I'm gonna get the furniture but I am excited because I have a vision in my head and it's so funny that when I was living at my parents house I used to always say like I had all of these plans and I knew exactly how I wanted each room at my old house to be and each room as I was moving to it was coming my vision was coming to life and you know the next room we were going to do was the kitchen and I had an exact plan how I wanted the kitchen it was going to be beautiful and so I was thinking at my parents house like how am I going to just start all over with my ideas for a new place like where am I going to start it's going to take me forever to figure out the design I want for each room and each area of the room but you know what it is coming to me like each room and this is a totally different space I understand but it's just coming to me like I can envision I just I just can envision each room and I like it even with reusing a lot of the stuff that I already have I can envision exactly how I want it and how I want to decorate and where I want to position furniture and what type of upgrades I want to add into the house I was thinking about putting a built a built-in in the living room upstairs as well but it's just all coming to me and I have all these ideas and I'm jotting them down even at work I have a few pages of my work notebook dedicated to YouTube and then a few more pages dedicated to house stuff and I'll even start you know sketching out ideas and stuff whenever they come to me and it's just so crazy like that I'm able to just start from scratch like that all over again and just hit the ground running do I know how I want every room in the house to turn out no but I do think it's still gonna it's gonna come to me eventually I haven't thought about the guest room I really haven't given too much thought about the glam room because that's gonna be one of the last rooms that I work on I really want to get my master suite together first um, as far as upstairs is concerned um, but all the other areas are just coming to me like the foyer is coming to me slowly I haven't found all the pieces I want but I'm excited and I'm grateful that I don't feel overwhelmed with having to come up with design ideas all over again from scratch. It's just been coming to me and I like the way that it's turning out so far. And um, I already like the finishes of the home so I don't have to really worry about changing any of those. Um, and it's fun to decorate for me. It's fun to find pieces and stuff. And Z Gallery has been really good to me this season of my life. Like I've been getting more and more Z Gallery pieces. Um, for very good deals um, so I'm excited about that I am missing a Z gallery vase I had that had that silver clarion vase in a corner of my dining room makeover reveal at the old house and I don't know where that vase is I remember wrapping it I don't know if the guys broke it when they were packing up the storage unit because I wasn't there towards the end or I don't know but it's not at my parents house I just I don't know where that vase is I have no idea where it is and that was like an $80 vase so um, 70 or $80 um, and I paid full price for it so I would like to find that vase I don't want to replace it um, the only reason I haven't replaced it yet is because it has I think it has to be somewhere and the second reason I haven't replaced it is do I really need it like am I okay with not having it here but I just want it because one is the gallery and two I had already paid for it so I need to find that vase like I don't know where it is it's so pretty though um every time I go into Z gallery and I see it I instantly like 
cringe because I know that vase I had that vase and I know I paid you know full price for it but I can't find it I don't know where it is um so what else that's I think that's about it so I'm gonna see you guys once I get home after I cook I'll show you guys my gourmet meal see ya you guys I cooked look I have my garlic knots in the oven you see them these garlic knots are really good these are the ones I use it tastes really good I use them with lasagna spaghetti and hamburger helper although I haven't had this in years but look your girl can't throw down I told you guys I was gonna show you um, when I finished it didn't take long at all I stopped at Target on the way home um, another the first Target location that I went to a couple last week sometime or, or so and all I found was some of the napkins um, that we had been uh, collecting for the baby shower so I grabbed those and then that was it and I came home um, got these cute plates for the kids when they come over this one they were ringing up 88 cents I got two of these these are like blue for boy and then I got two of the lavender purple color so they were all 88 cents I thought that was a good deal uh, for when the little kids come over and they're already uh, divided as well which works out good for them because I only have porcelain plates um, I have this set right now that we're eating on and I don't like to give them to kids so sometimes I make them eat out of Tupperware um, because I don't want them to drop it and break it and hurt themselves or whatever so yeah I just want to show you guys my hamburger helper this one is four cheese lasagna I've had it before it's cool so I'm going to eat and watch some Teen Mom OG. It's a guilty pleasure. And then um, just chill out for the rest of the night. I don't think I'm going to do any DIYing on that backdrop. I'm tired. So I will see you guys later. Bye.